Mom and I have been really working hard this summer on our diet. Well, our uh, see any kind of dessert we can find to make diet, I should say. We enjoy our, our desserts. So we're going to, today we're going to make a sticky toffee pudding. We know there's like 50 million different recipes to do this. We're going to take ours out of the Best of Gourmet book. We're going to give it a try. In a saucepan over here, we're going to put one cup of water. And to that, we're going to add one cup of finely chopped dates. And we're going to simmer this for five, about five minutes or so until the dates become uh, nice and soft. All right, while that's, where, while that's the simmering over there, we're going to get our flour mixture together. In a small cup here, we're going to add one cup of cake flour. Now, I was completely joking when I was talking about this is a diet recipe with as much sugar that's in it, the, car the type of toffee sauce, that, uh, toffee sauce that goes on top. It's anything but, but it, it is delicious. All right, we're going to do one cup of flour. To that, we're going to add one teaspoon. Mom's checking it. <laughs> Making sure I did it right. We got one. It was uneven. Oh. <laughs> we're going to do one teaspoon of uh, baking soda. F. Mom was correct. It was half a teaspoon. I was, and then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of baking powder and just a pinch of salt. We're going to mix it up just a little bit. Now over here in our bowl, we have got one stick of butter. To that, we're going to add one fourth a cup of uh, brown sugar. If you have dark brown sugar, that would be preferable. And we're just going to mix it until it's light and fluffy. That will take about four minutes. After the five minutes, we're going to take this off the heat. Our, uh, we're going to cover it and we're going to let it sit for another five minutes. After your uh, brown sugar and uh, butter has become nice and fluffy, we're going to add one large egg and blend that in. Once you get that mixed, we're going to add, start adding our flour mixture slowly. We'll get that all incorporated. Now that's going to make a pretty thick consistency there. Once your other five minutes is up, we're now going to add this mixture. And we're going to slowly mix these two together. After you get that mixed, we're going to stick this into a um, eight inch floured, oiled and floured round cake pan. And the temperature is going to be 350 degrees. So we've got 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Let's stick that in the oven. While our um, pudding is baking, we're going to make the sauce. We're going to start off with one stick of butter. In that same saucepan, we're going to add one cup of brown sugar, one third cup of water, and just a pinch of salt. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this onto a medium high and we're going to cook this. What we're going to do is we're creating a kind of a toffee caramel sauce and we're going to cook this down until it uh, cooks down to about one and a fourth cups, one to a half cups of sauce. You want to make sure you stir this on occasion. After you've reduced it down to the one and a quarter cups or so, we're going to set that off the heat and we're going to put a lid on it until our cake comes out of the oven. All right, our Cake should be done. We're going to check it here real quick. We're doing the old fashioned toothpick test. Stick it in, it comes out, it's nice and clean. Now, while this is still hot, if you have a skewer of some sort uh, or something a little bit bigger, you want to take this and we're going to punch holes throughout this cake while it's still hot. And you want something fairly decently large. 
I'm just gonna poke a bunch of them here really fast. We're not even giving it a chance to cool. All right, that looks pretty good. We got a bunch of holes in there. We're gonna take and pour half of our syrup mixture over the cake. We're gonna do that kind of slowly because we want that cake to kind of absorb it. This is kind of like one of those poke cakes that we make. All right, now that we've got that on there, we're gonna let that soak in just a little bit. We're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. We're just gonna take a plate upside down. Hopefully this will work. And, wow, it did. All right, so now over here, if you need to, you can, it'd be smart to loosen up the sides just a little bit. I'm not gonna say that's our first take, because it wasn't. <laughs> the sides aren't quite done. We're gonna take the remaining, uh, that caramel sauce that we made, just gonna pour that across the top. Now you want to serve this either, I mean it's best warm, but if you want to serve it at room temperature, that's great. And then we're going to put a little whipped cream on top of ours. You can always of course use ice cream. I know vanilla ice cream is very popular. But there we have, this is a very easy version of the uh, sticky toffee pudding. We hope you give it a try.